How did you get in my house? You've been taking the food from the fridge, have you? You've been taking the water as well. What is going on, people? And welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. So, I'm here with Luke, as always. Luke's Hello. always joined by yeah. me. So, um, make sure that you go down below in the description you, and you bro. check out Luke's channel. You subscribe to Luke. And if you're, you're sticking around long enough, then you better click the red subscribe button on my channel. A lot of you guys that are watching these videos, over 50% are not subscribed. So, click the subscription button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on this type of content. And also, if you do enjoy this video, it's quite a disturbing, sad kind of video. But then drop a like. The more likes, the more we know that you guys want us to make this kind of content. So make sure to smash the like button on the video if you want more. And if you're watching this video and you love me and you love Luke and you enjoy this type of content, comment down below, disgrace. That's the word for today's video. We're going to try and start doing that a bit more. This video is not a disgrace, but what you're about to witness is, is a bit of a disgrace. So we're currently in the car. We are sitting outside a travel lodge. You may or may not remember that me and Luke about a week ago, we paid for a full week week in a hotel for a homeless guy, a crackhead, a guy that was currently going through some substance abuse, dealing, taking drugs, living homeless, all of that kind yeah. of stuff. Uh, and we decided to try and help him. It will do, hopefully, for you what you need. <sighs> Come in, my guy. Luke, grab the key, key out the door. Come in, my guy. This is your room for the next seven days, you know. For real? Yeah, for real, bro. 100% for real. Not bad, is it? Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Doug. Nah, it's calm, man. Thank you. Oh, but, oh, yeah. So, I don't know why it's got two beds, but oh. maybe your friend could come and stay. Oh, yeah. bye. He then got angry that the hotel kicked him out early and there was a bit of a misunderstanding. We actually did pay for seven days. Yeah. You lot at home don't know that. We did actually pay for seven a lot days. Of money. A lot of money. A hell of a lot of money. And they kicked him out early because of what we're about to show you in a minute. Now this video does involve the conversation regarding substance abuse and that is why today I would like to really quickly discuss something with you guys that might benefit some of you guys at home. As you know, the guy that we actually met in that building and tried to help out is and was a heroin addict. He also took numbers of other drugs. This is on a bit of a lower scale but it's something that can still affect your life and still affect your health and we kind of just want to mention it and help you guys out. So today I have partnered with the company Zuvu and, and Zuvu have something really, really great to off. Now this is for if you smoke cigarettes, smoke cannabis, or you don't even smoke at all and just kind of need a bit of a stress relief, a relaxed kind of vibe, and something really fruity and fun that tastes really, really good. These are the Zuvu Drag Bars. Now obviously if you're over the age of 18, you can go down below into the description and check out the link and get yourself some of these Drag Bars. They're actually really, really tasty and for me, an actual ex-smoker, I used to smoke cigarettes for many, many years. These have actually really helped me quit smoking. I'll do a little bit of a demonstration for you. <laughs> demonstration. And there's your little hit. They hold a, a small amount of nicotine. They're really, really fruity. They're really, really flavorous. Luke's a non-smoker, yeah. but Luke still enjoys them as well. Have a, have a little puff on that, son. Have, oh, a little, oh, have a little Have a little puff. chuff. Look at this. A drag bar as well. They're, they're, they're quality. Drag bars. Oh. That one, that one's good, that one's good. Right to the esophagus. <laughs> this <laughs> one is lush ice, and it is indeed very, very lush. Yeah. Um, and as I said, as we're talking about addiction in this video, and someone that is struggling with addiction, uh, smoking is, is a very addictive substance, and these are so much more healthier for you, I believe, uh, from what I've been told anyway, and the research that I have done. Uh, so if you are smoking, or you just want something a little bit extra in life, then go down below into the description and check out the Zuvu Drag Bar, because these are quality. You won't regret it. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram. This is where it kind of gets sad. So, I'll explain uh, the situation. We have been called by the Travel Lodge, because obviously we booked the Travel Lodge in our name. We have attended the Travel Lodge today, and it's about midday, and um, me and Luke have spent the last three hours cleaning the room of a Travel Lodge. The room that the, the crackhead, the homeless guy, was living in, taking drugs in, and basically turned into his own crack den. Um, we have a towel outside the car with all of the items that we have accumulated from this room laid out, and we just want to kind of show you what a disgrace this man Man left the hotel room in. So we're currently standing outside the travel lodge, which is right there. Um, down here are all the items that the homeless man, should we just call him Oscar? The Oscar, yeah, Oscar. left inside the building. That was his name anyway, weren't it? Yeah, Oscar? yeah, exactly. Uh, so we're gonna have a little rundown. Luke, come down with me. So what, what's in here, bro? Well, it looks like, oh, I'm touching it, but it looks like old food wrappers. 
Um, this is literally rubbish that was scattered yeah. around the whole building. There was, I'm pretty sure there was fucking food on the fucking wall as well. Yeah, just uh, disgusting. rubbish. You can see a Toblerone in there. Just sweet packets, crisps, nasty. rubbish, junk, crap food that was just wrappers put. It wasn't even put in the bin. No. It was just everywhere. It just was all over the floor that we had to pick up and we've, we've put in this bag a week's worth of food. Um, vile. Here we have some, some tablets. Um, now, why would he be having tablets? I don't know why he's taking tablets, what they are. He's taken four of them, two out of there, two out of there. They're tablets I don't really recognise, yeah. and and we've we've had to pick them up out of the room, haven't we? Well, yeah, and and I mean he seems to be on the old drink as well, so maybe he used that to wash down them tablets. An absolute vodka bottle. It's quite expensive vodka as well. Yeah. He probably got this vodka by selling one of the food vouchers we gave him. Oh yeah, that was a Nando's one as well. Wasn't Disgusting, it? bro. It's fucking oh piece of. I, I actually. I, I hate him, I despise him. I'm not going to touch that tissue. Right, yeah. That's disgusting. That looks um, dodgy. Tin foil, which we believe could have been used for, for the heroin. Yep. Um, lighters yep. to, to light it up, of course. A belt. What's that for then? Well, I, I could just imagine maybe with these needles that he's left as well. Some of the needles, which I'm going to try very hard not to touch, have not been used yep. yet. But as you can see, a lot of them, this one right here. Uh, I'm gonna pick it up. I don't want to. I'm gonna pick right. it up by the syringe. You're, you're brave. It's got a liquid inside it. It's actually. It's got a liquid inside it. It's probably got heroin inside it. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave that. We'll dispose of that one. We will, yeah. We'll dispose of everything yeah. up here. Um, these are actually cloves that we bought him. Yep. We took we him out it. shopping. We spent quite a bit of money. A hood rich jumper. Uh, some tracky bottoms. We even gave him some oh. CF clothing. No, that's disrespectful. That's <laughs> He's disrespectful. Just, do you know what? Yeah, I like folded that. these up for him. I took the tags off. I took all. This, this is like a night hoodie. I took all the tags off. Took them all out of the wrappers. We f like fold them all up. We put them in the in the wardrobe of the room, and they were exactly yeah. there. He didn't even touch them. He's probably still wearing his same clothes. And they stunk. <sighs> Up. Disgusting. And there is one item that is here that means I haven't actually explained this to you yet. That means we're going to have to go and see our, our young friend Oscar oh, again. Brilliant. Um, you want her here? Now Oscar did tell me that he is asthmatic. This is an inhaler. Now I'm aware, especially for someone that is on so many drugs, he can't just go and get an inhaler. Yeah. Um, he needs this. If he has an asthma attack, he, he could potentially die. And that's on our. And our that hands. is that is completely on our hands. So. The only place I can think he would have gone is back to where we first ever found him. The abandoned building. So we're going to go back to the abandoned building right now. We're going to try and sneak for a different entrance now. We're going to yeah. go through the wood end because it's so much more easier to get to. Uh, and hopefully we can find him. We can throw this in his face and we can just never ever see him and speak to him again. Because this is disgraceful. The fact that Travel Lodge had to call me and you up yeah. and tell us to come and like collect and tidy up all this stuff while they're calling the police, thinking it was us. Disgrace and it Oscar. Comes back on us as well, don't it? Because it's our money. I wish I could throw it away, but I don't have the heart to let no, someone right. go through that if they were to have an asthma attack. You won't attack. ever forgive yourself. So, Dad. you won't ever forgive yourself. Yeah, absolute disgusting amount of stuff. Most of it is just dirty. Like, I don't even know if I want these clothes. The CF clothing, I don't man. know, bro, because he could have, like, I don't think he's touched them, but no, what if he has? That don't look like that's been worn by a, a fucking drug addict, bro. I'll, I'll, t I'll take that back to the Gra wall. Grab the inhaler, grab the inhaler. We'll fold all this up in this towel. Chuck it in the boot. Open the boot, bro. Fucking massive death. Got it? Cool. Right, now we got to go to the old abandoned mill place. Let's give him back the inhaler, the asthma pump. Right, okay, so the mill is literally over there. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on camera. It's just over there. Uh, we can't just go through this farmer's field because I, I don't think he'd be very happy. Yeah. Um, so we're going to walk up this path and go around the path that's over there. Uh, and fingers crossed we can get in. We can see Oscar and deliver him that the inhaler. Oh, bro, it's a cold, cold, uh, fresh evening tonight. Yeah, it's getting there. It's wow. disgusting. We wanted to go and find a new building and like do another video or something, didn't we? And, yeah. and this Oscar guy seems to still haunt us. Like I wanna, I don't want any more involvement with him. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you you've had uh, quite a voice oh, with muddy, yeah, Randy, but muddy. You've, you've had a bit of trauma from uh, Oscar, like you and Daisy. Oh, and oh. you, bro, and you getting involved as well. Oh, it's oh, well muddy. Oh, oh. oh. Right, you right, right, mate? mate. How you doing? Um, we're doing that here. Uh, we're just. Going over to the mill over there, we got a we got to deliver this. This is an asthma pump. There's a crackhead that uh, we we were friends with oh. or whatever, and he's left it with us. 
I think I've, I've actually think I've seen your videos. Um, oh, okay. Right. That's cool. So, uh, so you'll be able to escort us on just to drop it off to him. He's uh, living in the building. He's not here anymore. Uh, we've had all the junkies, all the crackheads. They're not here anymore. They're, oh, okay. Right. The building's actually getting taken down very soon. Oh, okay. So you're like patrolling it yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I've actually been employed to patrol these areas for. Well, no, so, back yeah, because if he doesn't have it, it could die. Right. Uh, that's not my problem, mate. Um, he's not here anymore. Uh, so we're well, not. Wait, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Fair enough. He's not here. That's fair enough. No, I'll let you do your job. Enjoy the rest of the day, right, mate. mate. Yeah, thank Sorry, you. Sorry, lads. That's right. We just yeah. didn't want him to like get die. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, been on our hands. yeah, well, I'm full sure he's not here. We'll anymore. give it to you, and if you do see him, can you? I'll take it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not here anymore. That's fine. He did live there for uh, what we believe like a month, uh, just in the middle over there. Right. And obviously, there there is a potential he might return because he did have did have he friends. Won't, he won't be returning. But if he does return and see you like we've just seen you, maybe you could just give it to him just to get it if off I our see hands. If I see him, I pass it on. But unfortunately, yeah, yeah. He All right, there. thank you. So can you please? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Have a good day, mate. Cheers. I'm going to watch you guys leave just in case you... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fine, no, that's right, fine. Right, yeah. we're Cheers, not mate. Here, we're not here to cause trouble anyway, bro. That's all right, mate. I believe you. It's all good. Yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah. Have a good evening, Thank you. people. Yeah. Have a nice evening, mate. Oh, fucking hell. It's so muddy, bro. I didn't expect that. They put security on the building. I'm like, what? We, are, we literally only went there like a week or two ago, didn't we? I know. Uh... He's not watching us. He's watching us. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep not going. Not we can do. Is there? Let's get back to the car. <sighs> Little puff on the drag bar. Back in the car. He loves it. Home time. <laughs> I've got the Zuvu drag bar. The Zuvu. This is mango ice. I've tried this. Pretty dank. Yeah. Take a try. Tell me what you think, bro. Tell me what you think. This is where we see Luke struggle. We're gonna have a problem here, you know. Do you know what, yeah? I bet there's probably like a little thing you just peel. There we go. I got it. There we go. Yeah, like that. Like so. If you think about it, I'm doing a tutorial for the viewers. When they get themselves. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You just flick that up. Wow. Wow. That is actually pretty cool. And then open your hand out. And then out comes the Zuvu bar. Protecting on both sides. Oh, there we are. Do I take this off? Take both bits off. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't want to smoke the fucking rubber, do I now? <laughs> Drag bar, the font as well, we just got to take appreciation. <coughs> oh, gonna... <laughs> Can I have a water, please? You got your water in the fridge, go and get your water, yeah, bro. Is that, is that give me, cool, give yeah. me the drag bar. Go and get your water, bro. Go and get your water. <laughs> Luke was never actually a smoker. I used to smoke and these things actually helped me quit. They're also really fun if you can get used to them. Uh, so uh, go and get yourself a drag bar, as I said. That's why he's coughing loads. Lewis, yeah. Uh, where's my water? In the oh. fridge. That's where you put it earlier. In the fridge, no? I did put it in the fridge, but it's, it's gone now. There's a uh, Daisy. Daisy's behind. not been here all day. What do you mean it's gone? It, well, it's gone. You probably not looked hard enough, Luke. It's you. Lewis, mate. I, I have looked. There's. I, was, I see WKDs. I see Red Bulls. I don't see no water around. Go and get one from the sink. Go yeah. and get one. I think things have been missing from my fridge for a while, to be fair. That's weird, bro. <laughs> it is very weird. Where, where, where are your glasses? Up there on the right. Here, yeah? Up there. Oh. This video was literally about the drag bar, and just because you can't seem to handle a drag bar, mm -hmm. or any sort of vape, because it's not your thing, you need the water! And now, we, we were ended to this. There we go for the viewers, Luke's drinking water. Water tutorial, got beautiful texture to it. Wait, it? wait. <laughs> What's up? Can you smell that? Oh yeah, whoa, whoa. It's coming from like, down oh, here. That's disgusting. Oh. Can you smell it? Oh. Can you smell it? Yeah. Did you, did you hear that? What the fuck was that? That sounded like it was coming from behind us. That would like, probably <laughs> Bro, you got. I have not got anyone living under my stairs. I fucking hope. Bro. Come down, man. That is underneath us, eh? It's not outside. Who the f I'm checking. So it keeps getting stronger. You go in there. Me, me. I don't want to go in there, bro. It's someone under my stairs, bro. Bro, bro I don't want to go in there. That, I get closer and the smell's just strong, bro. Yo, hello? Uh, uh, 
What the fuck, bro? There's someone on there, bro. No, there ain't. Get out now! No, they fucking ain't. Yes, there is. There's someone on there. Get out of now! I swear to God, you better get out right now. Who are you? Who are you? Get out! Bro, I don't know what you're trying to do. There's no way out of there. Get out now! Come on, hurry up! Who is this guy, bro? Oh, I don't fucking know. Oh, God, here we go. Lewis. It's him! Oh, it's the crap. Get out, Get bro. the fuck out now! Fuck out right now! Go on! Get out! And what? What are you doing, bro? Get out! Get what up. are you doing? Get up! Fucking, what are you doing Get in my up. house? What the fuck are you doing in my house? What? Yeah, 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 look at you. Why the, how the fuck did he get in my house? How did you get in my house? You've been taking the food from the fridge, have you? You've been taking the water as well? That's my fucking water, lads. That's mine. Get up on your fucking feet, you little pussy boy. How the fuck did you get in my house? Please. How the fuck did you get into my house? Why are you saying please? You're you're in his house. Then what? There's, why are you trying to apologise to me? Oh, please don't hurt me. You're trespassing, lad. Call the police. Why are you in my house? I got kicked out of the building. Would you? So you come to my house? How the fuck did you get into my house? The door was open one day. Look at this guy, man. I thought I so thought we thought taught you a lesson last time. Kidnapped my girlfriend, now he thinks he can live rent free in my house. What were you doing? Were you smoking stuff under there? What were you smoking under there? What were you smoking under there? Please. We tried to fucking help you, we did. Please, can you go and have a look what he was doing under there? What were you doing under there? It wasn't even summer, I've been so cold. You've been cold? Yes, I'm hungry. So, what have you been doing underneath my storage cupboard? Just been trying to have somewhere to stay. Yeah, so what have you done? I can smell something proper dodgy. There's, well, my water that I was looking for. There's food. Um, Missing and, food? Yeah. And there is drugs as well. Heroin? Yeah. You've got heroin in my house. You've got heroin in my house where my Sorry, family please, lives. Please. You've got fucking heroin in my fucking house. <laughs> Look at him. Why are you bringing heroin into my house? You're disgusting, mate, you are. You're fucking disgusting. Oh, mate. How dare you break into my house and think you can live there? We did you a favour, bro. We did you an absolute solid favour and put you in a hotel. And just because you are a junkie scumbag, you decided to come and break into my house. Let me close that in case the fucking well, cat's getting there. Have you got anything to say? What oh, stinks? It stinks so bad, Luke. Have you got anything to say? Oh, it no, stinks bro. so disgusting. bad. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You've been smoking tinned foiled heroin underneath my fucking stairs. You've been shooting up in there, ain't you, boy? Yes, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Don't say sorry. Please. What, what do you expect us to do? Let you sit on the couch, give you a pat on the back, yeah? Let you sleep. Fucking don't hurt me. Yeah. You disgust me. This is do, actually made him me angry. Yeah, no, I trust. And the me. fact that he is still here in my house. <laughs> no, I thought we, I thought this we had teach, taught this guy a lesson after he took Daisy. But mate, this guy's get up on uh, your feet. Anywhere else? Get up, quick! Get up! Hurry up! <laughs> you are leaving this house Joke. right now. Okay. If you ever, ever come within five miles of my house again, you will not see. Oh, I, I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. Get out. You, Get on, out. Mate. Out. 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 On, Get him out, Luke. We're tough now, are we? Come on, Come on son. No, I'm walking bare. I'm him. walking I want him socks. way, way off my property, bro. My feet are hurting. My feet are hurting. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mate. Get, I want him way, way away from no, my no, house. No, 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 you scum. In, shooting up, yeah, boy. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down, go on. Get him off his feet, bro. Get down. I swear to God, if I ever see you at my house again, scum. this is disgusting, scum. bro. This, ladies and gentlemen, is, is what you don't want to be. Bro, we did so scum. much for this guy. We helped this guy out. Yeah, I know. We helped you, bro, when you needed help. Put you in the travel lodge. That cut out of our own pocket as well. That cost. That and cost did you see the way you treated the travel lodge, Matt? Ad, right? Do you know what? We came looking for you today, looking for you, so we could give you your inhaler. Do you remember your inhaler? Yeah, the one you left in the travel lodge. Yeah, the one you need. 
Right, we came looking for you to give that to you today because we didn't want the blood on our hands when you have an asthma attack. Well, guess what? Right, the inhaler has been given to the security guard that now guards the mill. The reason we gave it to the security guard is because we assumed you'd be going back there to live there after we tried to help you. You should have never done what you did and you fucking snaked us up. You're disgusting, mate. I can't believe you. I suggest you go back to that building, you meet up with your scumbag and friend, and get on with your life. Go and get yourself a new inhaler, it's no longer my fucking problem. I don't care what I'm seeing now. I don't ever want to see you anywhere near my family again. My family live in that house and you think you can live there shooting up and smoking heroin underneath the fucking stairs. I'm so angry that I'm so chilled and it doesn't make sense. To be fair, I'm surprised with how calm you actually are really. Like, yeah, you're, you're angry, but like, you ain't actually going at him. So Stay there. Aggressive. Don't stand up. Because I'll knock you back down onto your fucking ass. Oh, and there's the aggressive side. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> Sit what down. are you doing? <laughs> Sit down. You're a nobody now. Hey. We did everything for you. We did everything for you. We did everything for you. Get the fuck down. No. no, don't don't go. Look, please, look, look, don't touch him too much. Why not? We've got rabies, brother. He was probably oh, yeah. a dirty guy. I'm going to the doctors after this race, mate. Fucking. Call the fucking police. Yeah. Tell them that there's a junkie here that is high out of his head and barely can walk, right? Tell them that he's broken into my house, yeah. right? Tell them he's been doing heroin in my house. Go and do it, go up there, yeah. call the police. Get, police are coming, boy. Hopefully you can spend your time in a cell. At least it'll be better than the streets for you. You're actually disgusting, bro. You're actually disgusting. Worthless man, absolutely worthless man. <laughs> High as fuck, man. Have you called the police, Luke? Yeah, they'll be about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, I'm not waiting around with this goon. We've done what we had to do. We tried looking for you, we've tried again. And this is exactly what you did. Leave him. Scum. Bye, crackhead. Scum. See you later. Say hello to thousands of people as well. Idiot. Toss. I'm angry. How? Who does he think he is living and staying in my house? I, I don't know, bro. He's a fucking pussy. <sighs> not fucking shooting up as well, literally, whilst you're just there watching Coronation Street on the TV. I've got no shoes on. Everyone's going to think we're bellends as we get back. I'm going to end this video here. I don't know if there'll be anything at the end of it. Thank you very much for watching. This wasn't even meant to be a video. Wow. Peace.